Albania itself, because so I'll start with the, like the landscape and everything. I miss like, I mean, there's some beautiful things here, like in America and all stuff, but I kind of miss like the beauty of the geography of the country. I miss the people. I really miss people. I like it was a it was a different culture and it's kind of hard to describe, but like it was just they were just some of like the most nice, loving people. And like some of the culture things would be a little frustrating because you're not really used to it, like as an American. But like it, I like every time I, I I haven't been back to my mission yet since being home, and I think about just being able to be around those people again and um, all the food. Yeah, I can go on and on about the food, but uh, had, like I was uh, saying, so I had some friends who came down from BYU, Idaho, and um, they made us some traditional Albanian dishes, and we had like stuffed peppers, and we had like this uh, thing called a uh, tafkosi, which is just like meat, rice, and like it looks like, it's going to sound disgusting, but it's just like plain yogurt, and you bake it all together, and it, it tastes so good. Um, <clears throat> but uh, we had stuff, the, it was called a uh, burek. And uh, it's like thin, like layers of like I don't want to say like bread, but like basically bread. And then they put like stuff in the middle, like meat, onions, tomatoes, whatever you really wanted inside. And then like so we had some of that, and that was that was really good. My favorite thing though was probably the uh, souffle. Uh, that was a blessing and a curse at the same time. Blessing that tasted so great, curse because it was so cheap. We went every day pretty much to go eat one. It's kind of like their hamburger, pretty. But um, you get like pita bread, and then you get like uh, stuff called like sauce cosi, which is kind of like sour cream. But I personally hate sour cream, but I love that stuff. But it's the closest thing we can describe to you. you put like meat, and you can put French fries, and sometimes people like different stuff like onions or like tomatoes or stuff like that. And they put like ketchup and mustard on that thing and. My mouth's getting watered off thinking about it right now. But um, the members in the ward, I miss them. Um, there's a lot of people that like uh, I consider um, family. <laughs> and uh, I think about them daily. And just uh, a lot of the people that I was uh, able to help bring to the church. Um, yeah, I think uh, that's probably the thing I probably miss most, those, those guys. And then the food right behind it. But... Um, also just like the culture kind of was going back with like the, uh, with Vlor and, uh, just everybody being outside and being like walking up and down the streets. It was kind of like a lively feel about it. And I, I, I miss that a lot. I also miss the driving. I, I got to drive for about six months in the mission and there was a lot of, uh, uh, it was it was definitely a different experience in America, you know, because in America we have like our set rules and our guidelines and everything about like, hey, when the light's green, you go, when the light's red, you stop, you know, in America, you don't really like honk the horn as much because like the person in front of you is going to probably get offended. But in Albania, I mean, you just got to like drive around, you got to like make your way around people and you can honk your horn all day to people and... Uh, I missed that. I was kind of a bad driver when I got back though in America. <laughs> My family kind of realized it too. I'd be like driving, I'd be turning and they'd be like, what are you doing? What are you doing? And I'm like, oh wait, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, but it was, it was just fun to uh, be able to drive there and all the experiences there. And yeah, that's probably, that's probably what I can think about right now as far as like what I miss and 